there guys, my name is Coach Shadongsterborn, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a theme park predictions video. Now, I've said in the past, recently, that we're going to update this theme park predictions playlist with loads of 5-year plans, 10-year plans, different videos like that, and that's exactly what we're going to do with this video. Now, this is predicting the next 5 years at Flamingoland in Moulton, North Yorkshire. Now, before we get started, we have 4 fantastic shout-outs to give you. So, big shout-outs go to not you which is a smaller youtube channel i recommend you go and subscribe to them links in the description down below uh the o's in not you are zero is the number zero for those of you who need to clear up any confusion but like i said the links in the description down below to subscribe to them they've got some great content lined up so uh, i'd really recommend you subscribe to them and also a big big shout out to football family skills again links in the description down below for that our other two shout-outs is for Liam Barry and Charlie Craig, who actually suggested this Flamingoland Predictions video. So thank you very much for your video suggestion. You're about to see it come true. Uh, so big shout-outs to all four of those people. If you want a shout-out in our next video, you can do what uh, Not You YouTube channel did, and message me on Facebook. Uh, it's just Aaron Chaloner. You know my name by now. Uh, <laughs> and also you can comment down below this YouTube video and other YouTube videos here on the channel as well. Uh, you can message me on Instagram at Aaron Chandler Official. The link's in the description down below for that. There's plenty of ways you can do it. Snapchat, Twitter, all on there. Uh, if, uh, by the way, guys, please make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions for our next Q&A to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now guys, let's get into this video after that very long introduction. Uh, so, before we take a look uh, at the next five years, let's take a look at the last 10 years. I want to take a look, at, this is a good opportunity actually, to look at the major events over the last decade at these parks. So, let's start off with the last 10 years, the last decade at Flamingoland before we predict our next five years of park history. So, it all started in 2011 with the removal of the corkscrew roller coaster, and I'll get onto that site in a little bit. And of course, in the children's planet area of the park, they opened the playground, reptile encounter, sand play, and otter water play, as well as opening Zoom, the Air Force coaster by Zamperla in the splosh area of the theme park. In 2012, a Zamperla vertical swing opened called Pterodactyl. Uh, now, it was rumoured to be called the Monkey Puzzle Tree, but it ended up being called Pterodactyl with that awesome looking logo. In 2013, Hero, bleh, the Zamperla of Holler flying coaster, opened on the former site of the Wild Mouse Coaster, which closed at the end of 2012, or around about 2011 2012, and it was replaced by Hero. As well as that, the Dino Stone Park area was introduced with Pterodactyl with the addition of the Junior Twister Coaster by Zamperla, Twistosaurus, and the Zamperla Magic Bikes attraction, Cyclosaurus. In 2015, Skyflyer, the Vekoma Double Inverter Swinging Ride, closed and relocated as Voltar for one season at Pleasure Island in Cleethorpes, which is now closed. It's now relocated to operate with Obliterator, also from Pleasure Island, at Baghdad Island Park in Iraq. In 2016, the Professor Bubbles Seaside Adventure, which was a tracked car ride, was removed, ready for the 2017 major project. So as well as, in 2017, a year-round playground called Peter Rabbit Adventure, you also have Flamingo 1, which is the go-kart attraction. In 2019, the site of the former corkscrew in a temporary car park, all across there, that site was cleared, ready for work to begin on their next major roller coaster project. And the children's rides were relocated apart from the cycle monorail, which was removed from the park and is set to be relocated somewhere else. And in 2020, going into 2021, which is where we start this predictions video, we got the new 10 looping coaster codenamed Inversion. It's codenamed at the minute, but I think the name is set to be Inversion from the looks of it, from the, from the likely possibility. I think the name is set to be called Inversion. So, that is looking back at the last 10 years. Now let's have a look at the next five years at the park. So starting off with 2021. Now this is where I'm a bit either way. Because you can see already on your screen for 2021, I'm thinking they're going to relaunch Inversion, which is their 10 looping coaster, originally set for 2020. However, due to the coronavirus pandemic, 
I do believe that many parks, if not all the parks in the UK, will relaunch their 2020 attractions in 2021. Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park, that's happening next year now. I'm sure Williams World, Alton Towers and Blackmere Labyrinth at Thorpe Park and the Rainforest area of Chessington, I'm sure they're set to be 2021. The Drop Tower going into Chessington originally for 2021 as well. Um, is that going to be 2022 or have they already got so far in the construction they can try and complete it for the summer of 2021? Again, we don't know. Um, but I think Inversion is the same story. I think we're expecting this for 2021 now. Now, if this does open towards the end of 2020 and not 2021, I think we're just going to have a general park improvement year, just to sort of calm things down after the massive investment towards the end of this year. Uh, so it all depends on when Inversion opens. If it doesn't open this year, it'll be 2021's investment. If it does open to the back end of this year, then we'll see some general park improvements. Moving in then to 2022. And this is centered around the Lost River ride. This is the park's flume ride, uh, or should I say water attraction, water flume ride. And I think we're going to see a refurbishment of this ride. Nothing special. Now, I had, I had put on here refurbishment slash replacement. I think if they had the funds to do it, I think I'd like to see Lost River ride possibly replaced with a brand new water coaster system. Maybe a Mac ride, maybe an Intamin, something brand new, but something completely newly fe themed around like a safari lake you sort of look at the the boat ride in the Alton Towers dungeon you look how that's themed around like the Black River and sort of traveling down a sewer through the dungeon as like a little escape route kind of th well not really escape route but like a um, sort of separate pathway through the dungeon via boat ride um, I'd like to see maybe a, if they could a new version of the river ride sort of themed around like a safari um, sort of safari water trip maybe so you're sort of sailing along this uh, Flamingo Lake and you sort of get the drops and the twists and the turns and you get some maybe maybe a nice uh, Scene at the top of the final drop in that building put some nice lighting or something in there Especially during the darker hours if they operate during dark hours So I think there's real potential of that But I think the locals we'll see from this is sort of maybe paint new paint ups some TLC here and there Just to make it a better ride experience than it already is Moving in then to 2023, and this one also circulates on a certain situation. Now, of course, we know that the Loch Lomond plans for a Flamingoland part were scrapped. However, the Scarborough plans still look like they're happening. Even though it's very vague, it won't. It, it may happen. It may happen. Uh, and this investment relies on one of the attractions set to be in the Scarborough part. Now, we've known for a while that the Cliffhanger ride would be set to be relocated to the Scarborough Park if it goes ahead. Now, I think if it does go ahead, I think it will be by 2023. Or, the, or, or 2024, they may take the ride down for the year and sort of get it ready in the refurbishment parking lot, ready to be shipped over for 2024 for if the park opens by then. Uh, so, I think by 2023, we'll have possibly a replacement drop ride. Now, I think something like Magma at Poulton's Park could work, or the brand new drop tower system going into Chessington, or set to come into Chessington either next year or the year after, in Ramesses Revenge's spot. I'd like to see something like that replace Cliffhanger, for that ride to then go to Scarborough. But, if Cliffhanger doesn't go to the Scarborough Park and it stays at Flamingoland Resorts, I do believe that we'll see it removed a few years later down the line, past the five-year plan prediction for this video. But, I think for now, it will, if the Scarborough Park doesn't go ahead or it's not set to be in the Scarborough Park, I think it'll stay and it'll just be a general park improvement year. 2024. Now, this is set to be replacing the Splash Battle attraction as well as um, some the old Skyrider spot uh, and, of course, the little... Uh, water park spot towards the left as you can already see on your screen of the splash battle sort of opposite the main water play area structure i would like to see the splash battle and the side things replaced with a larger splash battle i think the park can do better than the original splash battle now yes it might still be a fun attraction but i'd like to see maybe a, a zampella water mania system come in or an, a mac uh splash battle system i'd like to see that come into the park maybe i think they can do a really good job with that i think they can theme it up nice and well give that whole splash area a nice um redo i guess or like a new lease of life to the splash area maybe theme it up to make it relate to the animals because i think flamingo land what I, I what i think they need to do is theme their areas up to fit with 
certain areas of wildlife. So have Kamali and Mumbo Jumbo as the Africa area and maybe have Splosh as the Antarctica area or the Arctic area uh, and you know things like that. Maybe the hero area becomes uh, something else. Maybe we, obviously we've got the Dinostone Park, that's like the prehistoric animals. So they're go, sort of taking the animals in a completely different direction with that area. So I'd like to see like a redo of the Splosh area with this brand new Splash Battle in 2024. And then in 2025, we're going to see a general improvement year, in my opinion, which is like paint ups, maybe some new signs, some TLC work, general TLC work, general refurbishment work, uh, and some other stuff down there as well. It could be simple paint ups, it could be uh, a repaint of a certain coaster, maybe Kamali gets a new paint job. Uh, I know the support color system looks fantastic and the track color looks good, but maybe uh, just a, a fresh coach of coat of paint maybe some new uh trains or some newer generation trains on kamali maybe uh just to give a bit of refurbishment to the ride because it is one of the better slc's so i don't want to see it replaced with the new coaster even though a new coast would be great i don't think that's the kind of coaster you want to replace to be honest so i think give it a nice coat of paint and a nice refurbishment to make it look even nicer and to make it look nice with the next generation of the park and the new era of the park and the new decade of the park i think that'd be a nice way to go around uh, so there we go. So that is my five-year prediction then for Mingoland. So in that, you've got at least two, maybe two, maybe two or three uh, general refurbishment years. No new attractions at all. And I think the most we could be looking at in terms of new attractions is the relaunch of what would have been this year's new attraction, which is the Ten Looper inversion, uh, and of course the brand new Drop Tower. If it's not going to be a refurbishment year, uh, refurbishment of Lost River Ride one year, a brand new Splash Battle. So it's mainly general refurbishment years it's not really mainly new attractions in the next few years but i think if there was to be new attractions a new splash battle a new drop tower depending if cliffhanger goes to scarborough uh and of course a brand new splash battle a bigger better splash battle maybe new manufacturer maybe the same manufacturer comes in and does a new ride system who knows uh but i think that flamingo land is not going to be the busiest of parks in terms of new attractions over the next few years i think we're going to see some general improvement years and i think it's just making the park look nice i think the uh 10 looping coaster inversion is going to take the park into a brand new direction i think we are going to see investment uh in future years in later future years it's just a case of when really and i don't think it will be in the next few years we'll see the new coaster uh, i may do a separate video in the near future on five maybe top three top five positions where i think flamingo Lad could build their next coaster but i think it's going to be very very hard because the park is quite landlocked in my opinion so i do believe that it's going to be very hard to predict flamingo Lad's next coaster obviously you guys know and i know hero is probably the only site i can see getting replaced with a new coaster um, you know, and I'd like to, I'd like to see a new coaster around there. Maybe uh, they do replace Hero, and maybe they do replace um, if maybe like they do an outstretched coaster. Maybe start where Hero is, and then outstretch it to where uh, the Splash Battle is, and remove that, and sort of build a brand new water attraction somewhere else in the park. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we could get the wooden coaster that we've always wanted. Uh, no, no, I'm joking. Um, Mind you, there was, you know, there was talk we could get a wooden coaster in the future. Uh, but I think, you know, I think those rumours and speculation, I think they've been thrown out the window very, very quickly. Ever since we got the announcement of the 10 looping coaster for this year or next year. Uh, so I think the wooden coaster is a long way off. I think if we were to replace Hero, I'm not going to go into it too much, but I'd like to see a good compact thrill coaster. Uh, but I think the Hero will be the next coaster to go. Uh, but it's just a case of what replaced it really so if you want to do if you want me to do that video in the future comment down below uh, But for now guys, thank you very very much for watching this video I've got plenty more prediction videos lined up over the next few weeks uh, From Blackpool Pleasure Beach Fantasy Island all for the next five years So make sure you stay tuned for those videos uh, And I really can't wait to see what your thoughts are on that. So if you suggested the video idea uh, your video idea will come true. Uh, if you haven't suggested one, you want to suggest a video idea, maybe a predictions video, maybe it could be a review that I haven't done yet of a ride, and obviously I'll you know know if I've done the ride or not. Uh, so if you've got any ride suggestions for reviews, or uh, one thing I am thinking about doing for this summer is coaster and theme park fact file series. So basically looking back at uh, current rides and attractions, either that I've done or I haven't done and do fact files on them 
uh, and sort of give you guys the stats and the facts and if I've done them, what my thoughts are on them. Kind of like the review series, but not too reviewy and more fact finally. Uh, it's mainly going to be rides that I haven't done. So, th so for the rides that I have done, it'll be the reviews. But if you want to see me do a fact file series on rides that I haven't done, then I would really comment down below. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park predictions video from Flamingo Land's next five years. Thank you once again to Liam Barry and Charlie Craig for suggesting this video. Again, put your comments down below if you want to suggest a video idea. Uh, make sure you all s go into the description down below, follow my Instagram. Uh, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to um, the two channels that I shouted out at the beginning of the video, Football Family Skills and Not You, but remember, 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 the O's are zeros, not normal O's, <laughs> just to clear up any confusion, so yeah, yeah, make sure you go and subscribe to both those channels, I've put a link to both of them, a dash, and then what channel name they are, just so you don't get confused, uh, but thank you very, very much guys for watching this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Hashtag Reds2000 subscribers. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.